Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on track concepts. In this video, I will be discussing the difference between parameters and filters in Tableau. So, filters and parameters both are used to view data based on some condition and the condition will be provided by the user. Now, you might have seen it in different programming languages also which have uh, if-else uh, statements. So, if, uh, if your city is say Delhi or Mumbai, then your output should be something. And if it's Bangalore or some other city, then the output should be something. Basically, we are giving some condition to it and the output will change based on it. So, parameters and filters also do the same thing in Tableau. Both are quite similar in nature, but there are few differences which I will discuss in this video today. I will also show you all practically uh, how filters and parameters work and then I will discuss these differences between the two. So this is Tableau. Now I will connect to data and I will use the sample superstore data set. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to show you all a very basic example. Uh, I will add profit onto the rows and segments on the columns okay okay so what it is showing is these are the segments consumer corporate home office and these are the profits okay now suppose I want to add filter on city I'm gonna push it over here and use all okay and now I'm going to select on show filter and I will select multiple I will drop down and show apply button now this is filter because we added the column city in filters so this is filter now if I change if I select just two three cities okay and select on apply the data will change because I am filtering data over here. I'm using filters. Okay. Now I'm going to select all again. Now I'm going to show you all how parameters work. So I will select over here, create parameter, and I'm going to give it any name. Okay. And data type you can select whatever data type you want and I want to give it some range minimum this and maximum would be say 3 and I will select ok now I'll also create a calculated field ok calculated field would be profit 2 I want the profit values to change so this is the calculated field so I'm going to add some conditions over here if uh, if if our parameter tmp parameter is equal to 1 then i will multiply the profit by 1 else if the parameter is equal to 2 then 2 into profit else if to 3 then 3 into profit and I will end this okay I have to name it something different profit 2 and the calculation is valid now profit is the one the original one okay profit is the original one and profit 2 is my calculated field which I will add over here okay and this is the parameter my parameter and I will right click show parameter so you can see over here this was our filter this is our parameter and again I can click over here and make some changes edit step size 1 uh, if I click this the arrows will come over here so I can basically change now Okay, now see over here. TMP underscore parameter is equal to 1. Okay, then as you can see, both the graphs are having the same value 60299, 60299. 
because my profit to the calcul in, in the calculation I had multiplied it by one, which is basically the same value. But now, if I select two, this is six zero two nine nine. This is one two zero five nine seven, which is basically multiplied by two, which was written in my calculated fee. So this is working. Now, if I select if I select three, then again it will change to one eight zero eight nine six. So this is when parameters are used when you want to change values over here and that should reflect onto your output. Okay, and you you can use parameters inside your calculated fields. You cannot use these filters in a calculated field. Over here, over here, here you can only write parameters. Okay, you cannot write filters. You cannot use filters inside calculated field. Okay, uh, let's now discuss these five differences which I have written over here. So filters cannot be embedded inside expressions and parameters can be used in calculated fields. So as we already saw, we can use the parameter inside any calculated field, but we cannot do the same with filters. The second difference is filters can have multiple select values. Filters can have multiple select values. You can select as many values you want to in filters when uh, whereas in parameters uh, you can select only va one value parameters are single select based on a list or require user input you can select it from a list or you can also input it but you can only have one value selected in case of parameter so parameters are limited to single value this is our second difference Third difference is actions are not available for filters. So you cannot use actions over here. But in case of parameters, you can use actions. The fourth difference is filters are specific to individual sheets only. You can't use the same filter in different worksheets, but for parameters you can. So for example, you have multiple worksheets. You cannot use the same filter in uh, every worksheet. Although you can sync the worksheet if if they are using the same data source but in case of parameters you can use the same parameter throughout the worksheet through, throughout the workbook even if the data source is not same for all the worksheets and that is written over here in the fifth point filters can be used when the data sources are related but there are limits filters in in case of different worksheets you can have same filters but only if the data source is same but in case of parameters, they can be used. Parameters can be used across multiple non-related data sources. So these are the five major differences between filters and parameters. I hope you all understood the basic difference between filters and parameters. If you all like this video and found it helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel Crack Concepts and also comment down topics you would want me to make videos on. And also I will link the tableau playlist in the description box and also in the comment section so do check it out it will be quite helpful